Good morning. Thank you for joining us once again on our podcast, Morning Moments with Jesus Devotion Time. I hope you had a great week this week. And as we get ready to go into the weekend, the Lord wants to remind us today of just how far He has brought us in our lives. I want you to just pause this morning on a Friday morning and just thank God for how far you've come in your life. Thank Him for the blessings that you have and the blessings that you've been able to receive and maybe even the blessings you've been able to be to other people. This morning, like we uh, understand that life is a journey. And for many of us, it's a winding road that's always been filled with a lot of ups and downs. At times, we find ourselves standing at a crossroad, unsure of which path to take in life, feeling lost in the weight of our circumstances. But even in the midst of trials and tribulation, there is a powerful truth that we must hold on to, You have come so far under God's grace. Grace is often defined as unmerited favor. I always look at grace as just being Jesus Christ Himself, given to us as a free gift from God. We see throughout the Bible that constant examples of individuals who have stumbled and failed, yet were lifted up by God's grace. From the prodigal son to Peter who denied Christ three times, Grace was a way of transforming our failures into stepping stones for future successes. Take a moment this morning to reflect on your own life and your own journey. Think about the challenges you have faced, the obstacles that you've overcome, and the moments that seemed insurmountable. Each of these experiences has shaped you, it's molded you, and it's brought you to where you are today. It's easy to focus on what we lack, easy to focus on our fears that hold us back. But when we shift our focus to the blessings we have received, then we begin to see the hand of God at work in our lives. Perhaps you've battled illness, faced hardships through finances. Perhaps you've dealt with the heartache of the passing of a loved one. Yet here you are, still standing, still moving forward, still under God's grace and protection. That is the essence of grace this morning. It's not about the absence of struggles, but rather the presence of strength and grace in the midst of those struggles. God's grace is not just a distant concept. It's a daily reality. It is in the kindness of a stranger, the warmth of a friend's hug, or the quiet moments of solitude, when you feel overwhelmed. Each day for all of us is a new opportunity to experience grace and to extend that grace to other people. It reminds us this morning to be compassionate, to be quick to forgive, and to love deeply because God forgave us and God sent His grace through His Son Jesus Christ. I want you this morning to take a little time and consider the people in your life that have been vessels of grace. They may not even realize the impact that they've had on you, but their actions have lifted you up in time of need. The world is in desperate need of kindness. It's in desperate need of understanding. And by sharing our own experiences of how God has blessed us and the grace that He's shown us, We can inspire other people to recognize that even in their own lives. So this morning I challenge you to seek out all the blessings that God has given you in your life and begin to name them. And as you reflect on how far you've come in your life, remember that your journey is far from over. There are still mountains to climb. There still may be valleys to walk through. But with God's grace as your foundation, you can face whatever lies ahead of you with hope and courage. Embrace your future with open arms, knowing this morning that each step you take is guided by God's grace. You don't have to have all the answers. You don't have to be perfect. The wonderful thing about grace is that it meets you where you are and carries you forward. So this morning, take a deep breath 
and allow yourself to be filled with the knowledge that you are never alone. You've come so far and God's not finished with you yet. I pray and speak that blessing over you today. I pray that you're safe, that you're strong, and that you count your blessings today. For you are so blessed. Lord's will, we will see you back here again on Monday. Until then, I sure hope you have a great weekend. And I hope you have a great day.